Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to do some full mailings uh, approach to get some a better composition of a full mail that I did time ago. I am going to do four full mails in Vertica and two in horizontal because I think that could probably work better if I put in portrait mode because the height of the robot it could be uh, seems more higher compared to the uh, to to the person or who the guy or the character that is on the left i am just putting some values in the in its uh, its thumbs and i getting uh, some good i trying to get some good shapes and overall forms uh, you know with the elements that there are in the in the first from us I don't want to, uh, to change uh, so much the, the initial composition but uh, I am uh, well I need to change a little bit because I don't really like the robot it's placed uh, it it uh, in the main in, in the main shot it could probably uh, are in the in, in in some kind of crevice, and it's under the the main floor, and but I don't really I don't really want that the 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 bottom part of the of the robot or the legs are hiding um, in with the with the ground, so I just uh, trying to get uh, some very composition with a large. Uh, in portrait mode so we can see the uh, the entire robot with legs or well you know it's um, I think could get uh, work better than the for, uh, initial sketch so uh, how you can see I'm just blocking some environment first and then I'm trying to get a uh, good shape for the robot and the character. In this case, I'm not using the character for these two miles. Um, well, I'm trying to get or uh, to put the uh, uh, the more values that I that I think it could probably work or uh, black to white. Um, I'm using uh, some guidelines for for the composition. I'm using in this case uh, two uh, main of the best composition that uh, there are for uh, for artists that is the rural affairs and the the golden radio as you can see I I have put these guides in on top of the of the film of its thumbnails so I uh, so to be sure that I am applying uh, one of them I try to follow of the the path of, uh, for example, the spire uh, extracted for the roller first. Uh, uh, for, uh, sorry, for the golden radio. I could probably upload up some video about the talking about composition or or maybe just uh, how to how to create this uh, spiral uh, or the uh, figurid. Uh, uh, creative for the golden radio. So uh, I just starting with the uh, with the horizontal with the horizontal uh, thumbnails. That uh, in this case I have a story from the uh, from the original one, mm, but I'm trying to uh, I to get uh, to do some modifications to do more higher uh, the robot to to could see in this case uh, uh, more the hue or, or the height of this the robot compared to the to the guy and in this case it's uh, in the in the foreground there are some kind of uh, of structures uh, I don't know some kind of pillars and of the in the background there is uh, the robot that mm, it's just like uh, a big structure the structure that it's uh, on foreground and the last one 
uh, starting with the with the environment or the background then get good shape for the robot and then try to figure out where is going to be placing the character uh, the main idea idea of of this tumba of this shot it's uh, that mm, the character of the robot it's coming from uh, a warfare a battle and uh, the the robot is supposed to be controlled to with uh, uh, for this uh, character that are, that are on the left uh, well uh, in the first tumbal in the background you could see some kind of uh, foggy or a fire that uh, it's supposed to be a city of of, of a spaceship that it's uh, in flame uh, so it's supposed to be destroyed by that by the by the robot and the and the guy uh finally i'm i'm doing some last uh, deta details into the into its of the thumbals that I am uh, just uh, redoid get uh, show more depth into the into the background and separate the the middle ground into the background adding some uh, city uh, between the robot and the big structure that it's on the foreground adding some more more shape more uh, lighting strokes adding more details into the into the robot okay and um, well uh, at the end I I decided to do some last Thumbals and I uh, decided to to start again with the first thumbal I did, and I'm trying to uh, do you know with the with the golden ratio. I'm trying to get uh, better in composition using the same uh, thumbals as the original but changing a little bit devalues the the construct on some parts and uh, the uh, but maintaining in some way the the position of the of the elements uh, in this case i wholly uh, i only maintain the the position of the of the robot i'm trying to figure out the volume or the lighting of this of this stem trying to shadow to get shadows and and get more more depth into the into the the thumbals adding some middle ground elements some shadows into the into the environment some foggy to get uh, more depth and to separate the middle ground and the background in this case any more light strokes um, finally I'm I'm starting to block the where is going to be the character that it's uh, it's it is uh, that the robot is following adding some foreground elements I, I don't really want how uh, the foreground uh, it is, but uh, as uh, as a thumbas, I think that uh, it's good to uh, to get uh, indicated in some way that there is going something in the foreground. It, but uh, at the end, it could be something else, like uh, like a tree. So well, uh, that's the end. This is the the final the final versions of the uh, of these uh, of the thumbals. So uh, hope you like. Uh, well, I will continue with the 
with the final one of the next video so thank you guys